Hey guys, how are you going? Welcome to a ninth Svelte tutorial. This one is going to be on conditions and if-else blocks. Okay, so this is going to be really straightforward. So um, let's go inside the HTML right here and we're going to take a look at a simple if condition using Svelte. So we can begin this by simply placing a, um, a curly bracket. Then we can say right here, hash. Then we can say if just like this and now we can simply specify our condition. So for example, I can say if 2 is greater than 1, then we're going to run whatever's inside here. Now to close off your if condition, you can simply just say, once again using curly brackets, you can say uh, forward slash and then pass through here if. And now we can simply say something like if 2 is more than 1, we can just say something like, um, uh, let's just do bottle. So something like that, right? So now uh, saving this and going inside the browser, we can see, of course, we get bottle right there. If I was to change that to be is two greater than three, of course, we're going to expect now that does not get displayed. So that's quite straightforward. Now, what about your else? Okay, so um, for the else, well, that's also quite straightforward. So I can simply just say inside here, once again, using curly brackets, I can say colon else right there. Um, so now I can just say if two is more than three, print out bottle. If not, then I can just say print out uh, something like keyboard. So now, of course, we expect keyboard to be printed out because, of course, two is not greater than three. So saving this, we're going to get keyboard right there. Really easy stuff. Now, what about an else if? Well, for an else if, that's also quite straightforward. Let's go back inside here. We're going to say else if. We can say else if. Uh, let's just do uh, let's just do six is equal to uh, six. Okay, so if six is equal to six, then of course we're also going to see keyboard right here, and we're going to get of course keyboard. Now changing this to be if 6 equals 7, of course, we expect no result to appear, and we do right there. Now, we can quite easily include an else into this. For example, we can just say colon else, and we're going to get our final else right here, and we can just say mouse right there, and that is all going to work as expected, um, just like a regular um, if, else, if, and else statement. Okay, so saving this, we're going to get mouse in the browser right there. Now, of course, I didn't demonstrate, but you can, of course, uh, declare variables. For example, I can say, let's show bottle equal to true. Then, of course, I can just change this to be instead, if show bottle, then, um, you know, you're going to, of course, then show the bottle. So saving this, we're going to get bottle uh, right here and of course that works as expected so that right there is using conditions and if else in Svelte thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one